Mo Pressman's wallet was stolen when he was playing Pinochle last night. It was in his jacket, hanging on the back of his chair. He had it at 1.30, and when he checked again at quarter of four, it was missing. Vivian thinks she remembers this dance kid, Johnny, walking by. So we ask him, do you have an alibi for last night? He says he was alone in his room reading. <laughs> yeah, there are no books in Johnny's room. Huh? Look, there's been a mistake. I know Johnny didn't do it. There have been similar thefts at the Sheldrake, and it's happened here before. Three other wallets. Well, I know he didn't do it. Stay out of it, baby. Wait, don't put those tables together. Come on. Daddy, I need your help. I know Johnny didn't take Mo's wallet. I know. Oh, how do you know? I can't tell you. P just please trust me, Daddy. I'm sorry, baby, I can't. This Danish is pure protein. Uh, Mr. Kellerman, look. Uh, maybe Johnny didn't do it. Anyone could have taken it. Maybe it was, uh, you, you know, it could have been that, that little old couple, the Schumachers. I saw her with a couple of wallets. Sylvia and Sydney? Baby, you don't go around accusing innocent people. Yeah, but I saw them. I even saw them at the Sheldrake. Didn't you say something was stolen at the Sheldrake? I got an eyewitness, and the kid has no alibi. Come on, Neil. You learn what it's like to fire an employee. No, Mr. Mr. Kelman, wait a minute. I know Johnny didn't take the wallet. I know he didn't take it because he was in his room all night. And the reason I know is because I was with him. <laughs>